Good morning, YouTube family. It is almost seven o'clock in the morning and I am still laying in bed recording this video. Not because I'm weird and not because I'm doing another poop video. You guys aren't gonna see me poop today, but because I have gotten lots of questions about how I pee and I thought it would be interesting to show you guys exactly how many times in a day I pee and how long it takes me. So get ready for me entering the bathroom or right now I'm not entering the bathroom because I just pee into a container on my bed in the night and in the morning. So that's what I'm going to do. I have my phone in bed. So I'll try and like prop it up somewhere so you can see sort of what I'm doing, but I'm going to go pee in the morning and this is going to start my day of how many times in a day do I go pee and how much does it cost me every single time I go pee? All good questions about what life in a wheelchair is like, right? Uh, if you are somebody in a wheelchair and this is totally, totally different than what you do, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. And if you're not somebody in a wheelchair and you are extremely surprised, and how I go to the bathroom or how many times I go to the bathroom. I'd love to hear about it in the comments too. My voice is really scratchy this morning. Ugh. Anyway, um, I'm going to go pee and then get up and then you guys can see me pee all day. Okay, here we go. Pee number one. Also, does anybody else have a wicked head vein? If I'm happy, if I'm hot, if I'm smiling... If I'm laying down, you can see the blood rush into my brain, which just means I'm really smart, I guess. But it's so unattractive. Okay, here we go, guys. This is my first pee of the day, and even though it looks like I'm naked on the bed, I'm not. I'm wearing a tank top and underwear. And what you can't see very well here, because I've blurted out in case there's any creepos that want to zoom in on that mirror, is that I'm using a little mirror to see whether pee is coming out of the catheter still that I'm using because I obviously can't see way down there, so I need some way to see it when I'm done peeing, and that little mirror is my way of doing that, so I'm using that to look and see when the pee stops coming out of the catheter so I know when I'm done. All done. That took an extremely long time, and just a side note about the catheters that I use in bed, I didn't realize how long it takes me to pee in bed. So that was like six minutes about. Um, and I use these pediatric tiny little 10, 10 French pediatric, pediatric catheters because they are very flexible and they can bend really easily into the container. Um, so that's why it takes me so long. And in my other video about how I pee in bed at night, which I'll link to here or here, which side, I don't know. Um, yeah, you guys suggested in the comments some other flexible catheters. So if you want to do that again, um, that would be great. And maybe I'll try something else so that it doesn't take me six minutes to pee at night because that was a long time and I didn't realize that. So if I'm like adding up, sometimes I pee like three times a night. That's, you know, quite a long time that I'm awake for. So that's probably not good. Anyway, first pee done, six minutes. Okay guys, pee number two. It is about 8.30 um, and I always drink a crap ton of water when I wake up, like probably 750 milliliters so that I can flush my bladder. Sometimes it doesn't come all through me by the time I'm going to get dressed, but I always pee before I get dressed just to make sure that my bladder's not full and I don't pee in clean clothes. So pee number two, about an hour and a half after my first pee. Also, there's no good angle in this bathroom. So if you want to see what I'm doing more clearly, you can go check out my videos on how I pee uh, without getting out of my wheelchair because I'm not getting out of my wheelchair and if this is the first video you're ever watching with me It's gonna be like what what is she doing? She doesn't look like she's even doing anything. So go watch those videos 
Okay guys, second pee of the day, and this time I'm using different catheters. During the day, I use Cold Blast Speedy Cath Hydrophilic catheters because they are more convenient, I don't have to carry lubrication around, and they have nifty little sticky tabs on the back that I can use to stick them to a counter or wherever I am, and I really like that. Okay guys, this is P number three. P number three today, and it is about 9.30ish in the morning, so I pee a lot in the morning because I drink so much water. So P number three, here we go. You might have noticed that I am using a new catheter every single time I pee, which can get pretty expensive since each one of these catheters costs around $5. Fortunately, I have insurance that covers this cost, but for people that aren't as lucky, they have to pay out of pocket for these expenses, which can be as much as a mortgage payment if they choose to use hydrophilic catheters. Okay guys, P number four, and it is 10.30, so it's been about an hour, but I drink a lot. So if you're like, you pee way too much, I drink a lot in the morning because your bladder is sitting concentrated overnight, which is probably the time that the, the bacteria are, you know, multiplying. So I pee a lot in the morning to get rid of anything that's in there. Fortunately, there are programs that subsidize the cost of catheters if you know where to look. Here in Alberta where I live, the government program AADL, which subsidizes medical supplies for people with disabilities, just increased their catheter coverage to include hydrophilic catheters for eligible users, which is amazing news for people that have been paying out of pocket for these catheters. P number five. It is almost 12 o'clock. If you live in Alberta like I do and you're not sure whether you would be eligible for AADL's new extended coverage for hydrophilic catheters, you can go to the link in the description of this video to be connected with a Coloplast Care Advisor who will help you navigate the new coverage and help you figure out whether you can get these catheters paid for. number six, I think. P number seven, it is 312. My last P was at 147. P number eight. I'm going to uh, Volt Hockey, so I have to pee now before I go, so I don't have to pee on the drive. Uh, so I'm peeing a little earlier than what I would normally pee, but P number eight, eight I think. Hey guys, this is P number nine. I'm at Voltaki and I forgot my camera in the car, so I'm using my phone. Uh, and I think I can prop it up here. There. So we'll see if this works. Because I'm trying to see if I'm actually peeing. Oh, hang on.
Okay guys, this is P10. I just finished hockey and it's like about an hour drive home with traffic. So I'm gonna pee before I go and prop my phone up. There, you guys are propped up while I pee. I guess by now you get the picture that catheters cost a lot of money and I pee a lot during the day. And I'm so grateful that AADL has finally changed their coverage and that the Speedy Cath catheters I use and that you see in this video are now covered partially by government funding because I won't have insurance forever and I'm going to need that someday. I forgot to press record just for a second though. Um, I'm getting better, but still happens. Um, so whoever's keeping track of all the stupid things I do, that's one of them. Anyway, I just got home from soccer, and this is pee number 11, I think. Pee number 11. And hopefully I didn't pee my pants, because I felt like I had to pee in the car for a while. That's pee number 11, and I'm gonna go to bed, and I pee usually three times in the middle of the night. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 in a 24 hour period, which is probably a lot, but I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments if it's a lot. As you can see, I use a lot of catheters. As you can see, they cost money each time. Um, so I hope it was eye-opening to show you that people with spinal cord injuries that have neurogenic bladders and need to use catheters. Uh, we spend a lot of time in the bathroom and we spend a lot of money on catheters and that's a, it's a sucky thing. And I really wish that there were more government programs that would help people pee for free because I think it's one of those things that you shouldn't have to think about paying for because you know, most people in the population don't have to. So yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching me pee 11 times and I will catch you on another video. Bye guys.